Welcome to Daily News Updates. Here we bring to you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Freight market scenario by Segal Sea Trade. The Asia Pacific Supermax freight rates were predominantly lower on September 4th, with market sources citing a general lack of fresh inquiry in the Indonesian basin. The Asia-Pacific Panamax freight rates were mostly higher on September 4 amid improved sentiment in the Pacific Basin. Sanjeev Sanyal backs Indian built, Indian flag vessels and granting infrastructure status to ships. India should consider Indian built, Indian flagged ships as part of infrastructure as the ownership of our own ships is absolutely critical to our survival as an economy. And the law should be changed to make Indian flagships banker friendly, Sanjeev Sanyal, economist and a member of the Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council, has said. Sanyal's views come at a time when a section of ship owners, mostly Indian origin businessmen who have set up ship leasing units in the IFSC gift city, are lobbying for permission to own and run foreign flagships from the tax haven. This demand has been endorsed by the International Financial Services Centre's authority. Trident Agro Farms and Thakur Infra Projects file bids for agri processing and storage facility at JN Port. Trident Agro Farms Private Limited and Thakur Infra Projects Private Limited have applied on a tender floated by state run Jawaharlal Nehru Port Authority to develop an export import and domestic agricultural commodity processing and storage facility on public private partnership basis as it looks to enhance the shelf life and quality of agricultural produce and increases export, multiple sources said. The proposed facility will be designed to provide comprehensive services including processing, sorting, packing and laboratory facilities, emphasizing its commitment to ensuring compliance with food safety and trade regulations and will cater to agricultural commodities not only of Maharashtra but also of other states such as Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. Severe rainstorms swamp India's container supply chains. India's West Coast ports, especially the strategic Mundra port, are facing an escalating crisis threatening to cripple both domestic and international trade routes. Severe weather conditions including torrential rains and widespread flooding have compounded existing capacity challenges leading to severe disruptions in container flows and creating a potentially cascading impact on supply chains worldwide. Mundra port, managed by Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone, is at the epicenter of this crisis. The port, which plays a critical role in India's containerized trade, faced an unprecedented halt in operations due to recent floodings. Sources indicate that the port's shipping activities were brought to a standstill for several days, causing a massive backlog of cargo and sparking fears of prolonged delays in normal operations. MSC likely to be anchor customer of Visinjam International Seaport. After the port of call of the first mother ship titled San Fernando, chartered by Maersk and operated by Bernhard Schulte Ship Management Singapore at the Visinjam International Seaport on July 11th as part of starting limited scale operations, the third mother ship owned by Mediterranean shipping company called at the port on Wednesday. MSC Orion, the container ship built in 2020 and currently sailing under the flag of Madeira, has reached here with around 15,000 TU containers. This is also the third mother ship owned by the MSC that called at the port after the successful birthing of MSC Dala and MSC Ardu V. With this, the chances are high for the MSC to make Visinjam one of their hubs. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already. And make sure to register for our milestone event, India Ship Management Summit and Awards 2024.